bring us some joy. <laughs> the joy light means joy to New Orleans. This is a building that people remember going back now six six decades. Man, the Joy Theater, right? It's just an <laughs> It's important to New Orleans because it's part of the renaissance of Canal Street. You know, since Katrina, we've done an amazing job as a city bringing things back. But when you see something that's as historic as nature and really being renovated and almost to its original use, it's a pretty significant commitment. It actually is a stimulus to bring up all of the upper end of Canal Street. I think the symbolic value of this is huge. It is literally a beacon up and down Canal Street and throughout downtown. You can see the sign all the way from Claiborne Avenue and probably even beyond. You can see it from the river. And it's, it's a beacon of the future of uh, Canal Street and of the theater district. It's so exciting. I mean, for, for all of us that grew up here, when we were kids, I mean, I actually remember being in this theater watching Jaws for the first time, climbing up on a seat, watched Rocky here. Uh, it's just been such an iconic part of the history of the city of New Orleans, so it really is a blessed event to really just come here and stand here. I began my first job, as a matter of fact, right down the street at the, at the uh, McDonald's. I became even closer to the joy because I, I developed friends who worked here. So we kind of uh, made a deal, and I shouldn't be saying this, but I will. Uh, we, we, we agreed that if I brought them Big Macs, then I would be allowed to go into the joy to watch the movies. Uh, the Joy Theater was built to play the Universal Pictures, and then the Joy Theater was playing just about every Universal Picture that uh, rolled off the lot. I'm standing in what's gonna be the multi-purpose theater. So what we've done is we've taken out the slope, we've made it a flat, so we can have all sorts of versatility. It could be used for theater, you know, drama theater and also musical theater and music such as myself. <laughs> whether you want to have a standing room concert or whether you want to just enjoy the theater seats and look at the comedian playing. Like, oh my God, it's so flashy in front of <laughs> I mean, they've done an absolutely wonderful job with this theater. You know, as a kid, I remember this being one of the downtown premier movie theaters. It's so exciting because now here I am more than 30 years later, and I feel like that same little 18-year-old kid, and I wanted to just jump behind the bar and serve popcorn again because it was so much fun. It looks like it was in 1947. I wanted to check out um, what the seating was like and the bar situation. I need to talk, find out who the caterer is. But I think the joy is going to bring people part of town. I mean, it's, it's, it's an attractive venue. It's so you can kiss. It's, it's gorgeous. When I walked in the front door, I was about to say hello to the lady who took tickets here for many years. Oh, I think they did a tremendous job. It's the old Joy Theater as it was when it's brand new with all the new improvements. So the Joy is going to create that creative space, that place for people to meet, right, where all folks come together across common ground and just enjoy the spirit of life through music. And that's what the Joy is going to give to us once again. Now, opening the doors tonight, it was like unbelievable. It's like you in a state-of-the-art theater in Hollywood. I mean, it's just incredible. Who would be better for opening the night of the joy than Irma Thomas? Let's make some noise. Put your hands together for the soul queen of New Orleans Day. It's a little bit emotional because uh, I remember this place so well from when I was a little kid. And now, with the joy reopening, 
This is going to liven up this corner. It's going to be tremendous.